Krista. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Art Society. From Mighty Boards. Yes. It plays two to four players in 30 to 60 minutes. I just want to say before we get started that this is a really awesome box. There are very few boxes, game boxes that I can think of that has a dual layer to yeah. it. And all of these little frames, you can't really see it, but they are dual layered and it's, it's so cool. It's, yeah, a, like, it's a cool box. Yeah, you could fit something on it and then... Have it like... Yeah, it's not going to fall off because it's, there are these little spots where it's indented mm -hmm. into the box with, you know, there's a... I guess a piece of cardboard under a thin piece of cardboard yeah. underneath. It's super cool. And it's it really cool. with this really nice tray that you kind of need in the game to, to help make it easier. Yeah. But um, it, it's just really well done. It's a really nice production. So I'm very impressed. Agreed. So thank you, Mighty Boards, for uh, giving us this copy to play. They did not give it to us in exchange for this video. However, they know that we like to show you all the all games. All the games. A little late, but we'll accept it. I was it. reading chat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta pay attention. Not focused. So let's take a look at what this game is all about. Yes, let's so do it. So we each have our own little uh, art museums that we are trying to create. Now I'm going to need the mouse because uh, the rules are only online. We do not have a hard printed copy. Yeah, this is a pre-production copy for sure. So... Uh, we are trying to put together our own uh, fashionable art collection. Um, so we're bidding on art and then arranging them on our drawing drawing room walls. Drawings. Hey, oh, my name is Simon. Um, so uh, the whatever we do not take for our collections. You know, there will be three things out here for bid. What we do not take for our collections is going to go up in value. I don't know why the ones that are unwanted go up in value, but that's what happens. Because they're <laughs> rarer, because nobody has them. I guess that's what it is. <laughs> so at the start of each round, so wait, who, who starts out as the auctioneer? I cannot remember. Steph, help me out here. Oh, yeah. Starting bids. Everybody is going to flip the card over, whoever has the lowest value becomes the auctioneer. So uh, we each keep our starting bid card. This is the start of our uh, bid stack. So each of us has cards from one to 20, and those are what we are going to use to bid. So um, the person with the gavel, the auctioneer, is going to take any three tiles from, as I mentioned, this really super attractive insert. As you can see, uh, each of the pieces of artwork has uh, their own individual sizes and point values. And in addition, uh, you can tell whether something is going to be uh, a portrait style or square or landscape. So you can already tell how this is going to be arranged or could be arranged in your drawing room. Uh, you'll also notice there are a couple of extra tiles at the start of the game. Each of us is going to be given one of these star tiles, basically one for each of the four colors. I happen to get a yellow one. Steph has a red one. Obviously. Oh, because that's in that is just what you chose. Um, we have to place this on our board on one or both of the star spaces on the board. Now, you really can't tell this, but this board has l these little dots on the board are textured. So you can sort of feel they're like little bubbles on the playing board. It's cool. So you have to make sure that you're putting this on one or both of them anywhere you like. Uh, I'm gonna place mine. I think I'm just gonna place mine right there. So. Um, so Steph is going to choose any three of these tiles and place them face down under, uh, underneath uh, the value of these pieces of art. So she might choose this seven and this eight and this five or whatever she decides. Uh, she could even choose three of the same value if she wants. 
So, um, Steph, go ahead and uh, you can choose three if you want. She's going to choose this nine. Take care enough to let me see. That's a five because you did you took one and you put it back, but I didn't see it. I almost saw it. And an eight. So you got some really big ones there. So we got a lot of room to fill. Yeah. So um, you are going to draw equal to the number of players plus one to bid on. Um, so we're going to flip all these over. We have a red and a green and a yellow. Notice that they each have a type of frame. These two have the same type of frame. Uh, there's uh, one set with a uh, gold sort of gilded frame. Let's see if you, ha you have that one here. Um, I've got a plain wooden one for my starting, as does this number eight here. So we basically take a look around at what everybody has uh, out there, and we start to get in our mind what we plan to take. So why would we want to take one versus another one? Um, well, you're going to have to place it uh, in your drawing room, and you don't want things with the same color to be next to one another. That's called a faux pas. So faux pas. Uh, you do not want to do a faux pas. <laughs> so I would probably, uh, although this fits here, I probably would not want to do that because I've got yellows next to each other. So there are certain placement rules. Let's talk about that for a second. Whenever you're placing tiles, obviously it must be inside the grid. It must touch one other tile along a flat edge, meaning diagonals do not count and you cannot rotate it like this. The artwork has to match the normal orientation so that the type label here is at the bottom. So, um, so you definitely want to have the same type of frame, not the same type of work. So I don't want to put yellows next to yellows. Steph doesn't want to put reds next to reds. Steph does want to place gold frames next to gold frames. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. So Steph and I are each going to take one of our cards from 1 to 20. Not randomly. We can choose any of them. We're going to put them face down. Let's just let this be a pretend, Steph. So this is, yeah, go ahead and just shuffle that in. Just do a pretend one just so we can talk about it. I'm going to choose. Oh, look, I got a two and she's got a one. I thought I was definitely going to be under hers, but I am not. Um, I would get to choose one of these first. Then Steph will get to choose. And then whatever is left over is going to go. Let's say Steph chose this. I chose this. This one is going to go here. And you're going to look at the value of it. It's a nine. The green nine would move forward wow. to the nine spot. That is pretty amazing how that happens. So if for some reason you don't want to place your artwork, you can place it with your assistant. You've got one spot for an assistant uh, tile, as does Steph. So let's say I did want to place my tile and I took this uh, red one. I could place it here and then I'm going to count how many frames is it next to that are identical to this type of frame? Looks like one in this case. So I can take a little one by one tile and place it anywhere in my museum, uh, in my drawing room, following placement rules. Or I can give it to my assistant to hold just as if it were a piece of artwork, because it really is a piece of artwork. So. Remember, you must place it according to normal placement rules. Um, if I manage to get another wood frame right here, even if it makes a faux pas happen, I still get the bonus, except if it is a two, I can get a one by two or a two by one tile. These are going to be worth points at the end of the game. Notice these little victory point shields. A one spot token is worth one. A two-spot token like this is worth two. A three-spot token is worth three. Uh, if it's uh, 
a three or more token, then you're going to get, uh, if you place it next to three or more frames of the same type, you're going to get a three point token. Is that correct, Steph? I do believe that yeah. is correct. Yes, touching. Um, if you manage to place four or more, if you place it so it touches four or more other paintings, you can choose any combination of tiles. That's what it is. Yeah. So you place next to one matching, you get a one a one drop, like I like to call it. Two, you get a two a two drop. Three, you get a three drop. A four, you could take a three and a one, or a pair of twos, or four singles. Whatever you want. Now, when you get if it's a three, you can't take a, a one and a two. You must take a three. The only time you get to take multiples is if you have four or more. So, <clears throat> um, let's see here. Um, if for some reason uh, it's the end of the game, uh, the extra decor does not count as an excess painting. You don't want excess paintings on your wall. We'll talk about that in uh, a split second. Now, let's say I didn't play that too. Let's say that I matched Steph and I played a one. So yeah. Steph has her one. I've got my one. What we do is we each look underneath that tile and see what the previous one is that we bid. Looks like I outbid Steph with the tiebreaker. And so I would get to select first in that case. So <clears throat> my guess is that he didn't want to. What? Because you bid a you wouldn't want to outbid me. Right. Because if we're both going that low, you probably mm -hmm. don't it's want good things to go last because you get choice at what goes up on the for value. So right. I don't want to pick second. Yes. Sometimes you do. So um in case it matters to anyone, the blue is city life. The red ones like Steph has is a portrait. The yellow ones is a still life. Uh, like the one I have, and the green is landscape. So, um, another thing to mention, let's say that the red was at four and the green was at nine, and for some reason, uh, a red five tile comes up, and we move this forward five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's the same spot as the green. Uh -uh. It must slide backwards. And if there's something here, it must slide backwards. And it slides backwards until there's an available spot. So these will not ever share the same space. So, um, so keep in mind, you don't want to touch a side of one or more other paintings of the same type. Because, like I mentioned before, this is going to cause a faux pas. Neither of these paintings will score me points at the end of the game. Don't do this. I'm telling you, don't do this. Um, I had a spot where I could have only that I could have. If I had anything but a yellow, it would be fine. We drew three yellow tiles, <laughs> three yellows. And you have to place it. if you And can. if you can place it, you must I mean, place you it. Could, you could force your assistant were, to but yeah. hold it. I suppose if you had a space for that. Then. And, and I don't think I did. So. So let's talk a little bit about the assistant. If you don't want to place a painting or decor tile at the time, you can always put it here with your assistant. Um, whenever you place a new tile, you may also place the assistant's tile, either before or after the new tile. So let's say I took this and I put it here, and then on a following turn, I take this. I could then place the red one and then place the yellow one, Ta-da, I've avoided a faux pas. So let's put these back. Um, if a player's assistant is holding a tile at the end of the game, it doesn't score any points for you or against you. Um, tiles that do not fit on your wall are excess paintings. They go off the side of your gallery, and they're going to score you negative points at the end of the game. So... If you indeed run out of space, you must immediately do this. You may give your painting to the assistant. We know that. If you don't want to give it to the assistant or you can't give it to the assistant, you can exchange your new painting for one painting of the same type with what has been discarded on the sides. So 
if for some reason I drew a yellow that I can't place, I could trade out with this yellow. I can't do any other color. It must be a yellow since I'm giving up a yellow and placing that on the space where I can fit it. If you, uh, if you cannot exchange the painting because there's nothing that will fit on my wall, I have to store the painting beside my gallery. And then I'm going to take a little one point decor tile and then place it normally. Hopefully I've got room for this. Um, I can place it wherever on my board as long as it follows normal placement rules. Um, each excess painting is going to cost you minus two points. Now, obviously taking a little one point decor tile is going to give you one point to make up for it, but still it's something you want to avoid. If you store your second excess painting, the end of the game is triggered. And uh, at the end of uh, the game, um, if a player has either their second excess painting or we don't have any bid cards left in our hand because we've used them all. Or a player has no empty space left on their gallery wall. We're going to finish the current round and then count up final scores. Highest score is the winner. So let's say that I trigger it because I've run out of space. Steph still has to place her paintings in her gallery. So we're going to finish up this round and that is it. We don't play any extra rounds on top of that. So, um, see if there's anything else that I have missed. Um, after we've increased the prestige for the leftover painting, um, at the end of the round, the auctioneer is going to pass that gavel to the left. So I'm going to become the new auctioneer. I'm going to pick three paintings, and we're going to continue over and over until one of those end game conditions is met. So you are going to, uh, at the end of the game, these are going to be on various spaces of the board. Let's say it ends up like this. We are then going to rank them. This is the most prestigious painting. This is the second most. This is the third most. And this is the fourth most. So every one of these paintings that score and do not score a faux pas are gonna be worth five points at the end of the game if they're in your drawing room. These are worth four points each. These are worth three points each, and these are worth two points each. Not two points per space, two points per picture in your uh, gallery. Uh, so smaller ones are might be worth more to you than the large ones, because the large ones, although they take up a big amount of space, it's still only going to give you a certain amount of points. You do have little point markers that you can use to calculate as you're going, and you don't use these point token things until the very end of the game. Uh, the back sides have a plus 50, and then you've got an alternate one here with a 100 and a 150 um, for whenever you get these huge uh, scores. Um, so that's one way to score uh, points. You're also going to get your decor bonuses for all of these things that are in your uh, gallery. This is going to be worth three points here. Uh, if you have any of these corners exposed, you're going to lose two. You're going to lose two for your extra paintings. If you manage to fill up your wall completely, you're going to get a five point bonus. And there's one other way to score points in this game. And that's called the eye line bonus. Take a look at this lighter strip here with the eyeballs on the corner here. You want to place the most prestigious paintings in this zone. If you do, in this case, green, if you have green anywhere in this uh, spot, even if it's just the edge of the painting, this would count, then you're going to get three points for each of the, in this case, the green paintings that are in this eye line area, even if it made a faux pas. So let's say this made a faux pas because there's another green next to it. Even though I don't score the five points, I'm still going to get the plus three for being, a nice for being in the eye line. Yep. So cool. Uh, that is, I don't know if they're going to have a score pad with this, um, but you might not need it because you've got this 
uh, the little score tracker, you can just go through the steps and uh, keep track of the score that way. That's pretty much it. That from you. Yes, yes, you are. Okay. So now we bid, right? Now we bid. Now we bid. I'm going to start a prediction for those who want to bet on who is going to win this game on Twitch right now. Do it. Do it. I was going to do. Let's do this. I have an eight. You have a six. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. I figured you were going yep. for that anyway. I mean, I've got None you. of these frames match me, but I want They wanted... don't match you? No. No, that's right, because they're not gold. I didn't think you were going to put a whole lot into it. No. And yellow goes over here. Which just goes up you. five points. Well, for yeah, for sure. Not so. Not so. Hey, I'm the auctioneer. So the way that we usually uh, do it, we don't even pass the gavel back and forth. What we do is we just turn the box back and forth with whoever is um, putting their... To me, it's just easier to pass the box. Yes, it's easier to pass the box than pass the game. Because everybody's going to need the box. <laughs> yes. So what do I want to do now? We can't... I can't put this out and then flip it over and look at the color and see what I want. I know. Can't do that. You put out three things. Let's hope it works. And hope it works. Hope for the best. I could put... Multiple of the same type if I have a certain shape I'm going for. Because that <clears> always <throat> works. Not. That, that always works. Not at all. And and by it always works, I think not at all is what no, happens. It don't. Oh, this is big. <laughs> no, that's too big. I need something big, but not quite that big. How about this? I like this. Sure. Four, five, eight. We got a green and a green and a red. Come on. Are you kidding me? Hey, you got oh, you got the not the not the the uh brass colored ones, but the gold colored ones. You do have one down there you like. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've got a sticky out here and a sticky out here. It's Oh, great. But leaving extra little baby spaces is not so bad as long as you match frames up at right. that point. Correct. Oh, eh. mm -hmm. so be so... oh, I need to scoot these off. Those no longer exist. <laughs> Auctioneer, I got a bid. I'm coming up with it. What a bid. Hold your horses. I just like these little, like, yeah, because they look it's like cute. the little things that you hold up and they say, uh, this is, all right, I'm ready. One, two, Twelve. no, I was going to. Oh, you get to go up and <laughs> do the do the drama. How about 12? All right, what you got? Uh -huh. What do I got? You know what? I think I'm going to go with this. Sure, I get a baby horseshoe. Yes, because you matched it gilded with. Yeah, the uh, gilded brass with the gilded brass. We'll even hopefully get a three there. And it looks like red is going up, which I'm fine with. It's five, but no, it goes down to a four. Slip sliding backward. Wow. And rotate the box. The game flows really easily. I, I really like the way that the the flow of the game works. And the interesting decisions that makes. Going for a seven. Looks like I got all the channel points so far. No, number two. What am I? I'm number one, right? You've got all the channel points. Seven, seven, four? This? Yeah. This? No. What do you mean, no? Seven, seven. How about yellow and red and a four? How about that? Crack. I don't know what else. <clears throat> what do I do? Nothing. <laughs> this is, oh, crap. <laughs> I don't like this at all, Steph. Steph. Not here for you. Not here for your enjoyment. You already put green in eyesight range. 
Yes, I did on purpose. Whoa. I did that on a porpoise. On a purpose? On a porpoise. Porpoise? Yeah, because the dolphins are not available. No, this is just bad stuff. I hear one, 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 going one, going. Uh, do I hear two, 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 no, three? That's not how this goes. Four. Eleven. <laughs> you first. Me first. I'm going to make you place the mess. Oh, I didn't get my one token. I should probably have taken that, and I'll just put it here just to yeah. be legit. I'm going to just place this dude right here. Right there. Right there. I'll take it. Yeah, the horseshoe. And I should probably actually place this. I don't know. You don't really have a great spot for it, honestly. No, I don't. But if I don't place it and I get one I really don't want. Well, then you place it then. Uh, swap it. Yeah, I guess it could. All right. It's whatever. If you want to place it, place it. Goes up seven more. All day long. I'm helping you out. It's ridiculous. You mean only have one yellow. I've got zero yellow. Oh, I like that. Hit me, right? Oh. Hit me? Yeah. Yeah. I want this. Oh, Legends with the Dolphin. <laughs> and then I want a little. That, that, that fits good. I like that. Where's blue? There's a blue. There's the first blue. Shoot. Oh, wasted that 17. No, geez. I, I just I needed this one. <laughs> uh, I don't want the it. other ones. Well, I don't want them either. I'm not helping you out. That's for sure. All right. That's that. Help me out. Oh, you. Nope. Didn't do it. I'm doing. You're doing. I'm out. Whoa, you just took three of them. Look, traffic light. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. This is what you got it. Great. You didn't want it. Why'd you put it? I wanted it better. You should have thought about that. Like gold frames and such. I have a spot, you see? Where? The oh, little yeah. frame. So now what? It's screwed. How did you come up here with that? Cool. Hoping for help. Wasted my 16. Yeah. It don't matter. It does for me. Placing this right here. Right, chop. Would have gotten a faux pas, but didn't because I'm separating it. I got to keep them separated. Four more. And it does quest chase quattro. And it does think it ace. It me. How does this look on my wall? That's too big. I don't want that big. Uh, maybe this big. That seems great. I'm going to do that. Then what else do I want? How about one that's a little bit smaller than that? 
Let's do something like this. And then let's do a little one that looks sort of like this. And then we flip them over. Wow. Come on. Why? What sort of kind of real? bull crap is this? It's just terrible. And a bull crap. I mean that literally. I don't like it. Right. What? Um, yeah, basically, sure. Wasted my 19. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. Nom. I mean, it doesn't, but it does. But it doesn't. Man, that that's not great. I could give. One at Scott. Wow. Hey, Firewind. Wow, I wish I had seen this before I took this horrible, horrible talk. <laughs> Just cover it in with little knick-knack. Knick-knackers. I guess I'm doing this. I'm not happy about it. And then this goes in for five. Nine and five is 14. And that's what's happening. I'm in a similar situation of knickknack. Oh my goodness, yours is a huge one. <laughs> oh no, you've got two huge areas. You okay. have a big problem. That's where we're going straight. That's where we're going. Again. Again? No. <laughs> It's the worst. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. Oh, it does. All right, here. Do it. Because I have to take this. Is it perfect for you? Yes, it is. It also gives me a two drop. Which I should probably place. Yeah, because that was really good for you. That was real. I, I had to, but before you left me with this, I had to take it. Because look at all the yellow on my board. Which, speaking of of that, four more spots. Yeah, there's nothing I could do about that. No, there you wasn't. Not after I took the blue, which is one reason for the 20 spot. Yeah. Shoot. And now it's all. No, it is. You that, took, that was my pick. You took three fours. Yeah. Which I'm like, that's horrible. Why would you do that? Dude. This looks nice. I like this. I am going to do that. I don't like it. I don't like it. No. And then let's uh, do another one of these fine paintings. I doubt that's going to help me any. It never does. Not the nine. Well, that works several places. Terrible. Let me think about this. I think, I think it's time for this. Me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Making all sorts of sounds over there, Steph. I don't like these tiles. Oh, maybe I can have her. Well, this was not a spot I expected to see myself. Should place that. Oh. Uh, you're helping yourself with those greens. I've got to take a green. 
figured you're going to take a green. Where would you put the red? Oh, yeah, that's a good spot for it. That's a really good spot for it. <laughs> Sadly. I mean, I have three green and three red, so go red advancing is also good for me. Oh, I know. So I'm fine with whatever you do. Oh, I know you are, which is the sad part. Because I don't like the tile I'm getting, no matter what. And it's going in my assistant's hand until further notice. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there is that. No! Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it's going to happen. Well, I mean... I think I'm just going to have to sell for a smaller painting there or something. Looks like a red eight. It's going out. Eight and four is 12. Doesn't help it a ton. And you. Three more fours. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the taste of awesomeness. Sweet, sweet, terribleness. Sweet, sweet despair. Shoot. Oh my god. Awful. Alright. Fourteen. You. Me. So I don't have any of that brass. Yeah, I gotta let you take it. And I'll score my a two drop. And this is it. One, two, three, four, but slips back one. Oh, how tragic. Oh, uh... my God. All right, I'm just trying to, you know, say how tragic it is. Whatever. See, I always give a variety, and you're like, it's going to be three of these. For specific things. No, I, I, I see that. It's not working. Oh, I also see that. No, uh, I'm not You just do a whole lot of faux pas and then, you know. Why don't you do that? Whatever. <laughs> I'm fine with any of this. Oh. Yes. Yes. That's what it I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Okay, you did this? What is this? Yep. Ah. Uh. That tile is not good. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. Can't help. Um, alright, well. I'm actually fine with two of them, so... Everything's great. Oh, this is not the... I'm like, why do I have a white one in here? Oh, it's because I don't want to... Looking. All the blue are going to come out at the end. Um, uh, probably. This is just nuts. Yeah. Give me that. That gives me a two drop. I love the two drops. I guess sideways two. Yes. The bottom. 
Wow, another four for red. Red's in the lead. Boo. You... I'm not trying to do that. I'm taking oh, the know. things that are best for me. The reds are just coming out hot. Four stink. Let's go with the threes now. Come on. Give me a break. Please. Give me a break. Give me a break. There's no break here. It's just bash on stuff. Bring out the piece and then bash on turn. You went every time. You're moving every time. That's because I think I wanted this. I think I want this. Now that only makes a one drop happen. Ease. Oh, this coming out. Three points for blue. On the, <laughs> on the board. On the board. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Amazing how that works. That one. I don't feel good about my wall. <laughs> Ew. This thing I can play fast. Yay! Can't. I can't either. You're looking for some specific sizes, and I don't okay. want to give them to you. So that's what we're going with right here. Right there is what we're going with. Goddesses? Boo. 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 I guess. You. Oh man, oh man. Boo. Eight and three is 11. Here comes Blue out of nowhere. Here we go. I'm not surprised. A four. We're running low on these uh, bidding tiles. Because you're going with the low crap every time. Things. Uh, how about blue, blue, and yellow? Here comes the blue. Yes. It might. It might not. It might not. It might. Oh, you got me! That means he wants something. 
I can use any of them. So do with me what you will. What do you want? You want it? Yeah. That's, that's, the one you, a, that's the one you want. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I'll take any of them. Um, I can make blue go up, which is fine by me. We'll go up four, which will knock green down. I have four greens. You have one, two, three, four, five greens. Yeah, yeah, you have five greens and one holding green. I can't place it. Just saying, you got it. I'm just saying I can't just, place it. You got it. I think I'm going to make you go up. Also, it's now in the sight line, so... Um, that is a blue four standing by. Whoosh. Here comes the blue like a raging. I knew it would. Hurricane. I knew it would. Now we're going to try some more of these because you seem to like them. I mean, I mean, I was hoping for like a perfect thing right here. I'll put this back. Yep. Yeah. Because I said I liked it? Yeah, maybe. Oh, God. Okay. What are the tiles out there I gotta swap with? <laughs> That's too big. What am I putting these out for? I don't know. That's it's the terrible big. tiles. That's perfect. How about three of these? Something's going up sick. Go can't do that, so. Red, green, blue. Cool. I like it. You. Because I don't care. I can't take any of them, so it's just a matter of which tile is best for me. <laughs> Probably that. <laughs> I can't oh. take it. A green. Is there a green? I'll swap. Not green, right? Sure. Like, this. All right. This does not raise this up. That swap does not do anything with that, just so everybody knows. And now um, I must take this if I want to place up. But that makes red go up, and I don't really want red to go up. So if I place this down low. Gives me a one spot. And makes blue go up yet again. How many blues do you have? You have two blues? Both in the sight line? Yep. No. I have two of everything no, in no, the sight no, line. No, no, no. Very, very, very eclectic. In my painting. How do you have so many different things? I mean, you, you do too. I would just assume you have exactly the same amount as me. Yeah, but no, but no. <laughs> yeah, but no, but no. So, red faux pas there, so I'd have to put red down here, which I could do and place here for that extra. Or I can just place the blue up there and be done with that whole corner. But I'm letting her red go way up. Sadly, either way I go, it's going to be raising red, so... Or, I mean, it's going to be raising something that's going to help her, so that's what I'm sadly having to do. Okay. Boo. That was a big failure. Yeah, we're back on this floor. 
check. Yeah, that's how I figured it. <laughs> I just I need very like things. Very like things. Yeah. I don't need any of these like things. You, I don't care. I get four things. There's a one. I get two. And a one. And a one. I just do a mm. three. I think I can place this safely. Blue goes up four. Yeah, you got more than me on every color. I don't see how that works. I don't see how that possibly happens. But that's exactly the situation we're in. We have we should have exactly the same number. She has, but uh, I don't know how that's happening. But that's what's happening. Let's put in one of these. One of these. And one of these. Four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? <clears throat> oh, but if I take that, I can't get rid of it because I can place it. No. Oh, no. What are the yellow ones that are out there? Why do you put out these terrible tiles? Hmm. Don't know. Negative points. Kind of guy I am. Twelve. Seventeen. You take first. Num, num, num. Yeah. All right. Oh, that gives really. me nothing. Is there a one? Is there a one by two in the red area? I don't think so. No, that one by two doesn't exist. One by three is one by two exists. does exist. Mm -hmm. It's a three value. Amazing. Yeah, we I don't think we've seen those out here. Yeah, we have right there. There is not is the answer to your question. I'll take the yellow one by three. This? Yes. Because you can place it? Yes. Whoa, how about that? Not what I wanted, but and this goes out here, and so red goes up. Unfortunately, in I, spots. yeah. What a uh, what went up last time? Uh, I don't know. I hope we remember to do that. All right, it you throw up some more good stuff. I don't know. Throw up some more good stuff. You're putting out three babies. That's basically what I wrote. That's for. hilarious. Oh, I because I had done three babies before, right? I don't know. I I put out it was a four of something. It was a yellow, and it, this one should have gone up because you didn't take it. I thought it did, maybe. I put out three fours. So it was either the blue or the green. But I think it was the green. Uh, I think we already had the blue one. I'll right? tell you. We'll have to look again uh, after the video. Right. You. Right. I don't want any part of that. I'll take that. It gets me. Green goes up three. Get me. This and. Uh, 
this. I'll have to be able to place it if I get it. Yeah, that's what I'm open. And this. Here, here, and here. How about that? You. Oh, well, for that I see. I think I will take Oops, sorry. That's fine. Um, you want to change it? So I could lose out on blue points for two tiles but I could fill in my board for five extra points or just know I'm not going to be able to fill my board. Uh, you can, because if you can't fit it, you get a one by. So then it makes sense to do that then. So I, have, no. I get the match for that, but I have one space left. Okay. It's me. Yeah. That's hoping you can go back on it. Well, this gives me nothing that doesn't hurt me any. And makes blue go up four, which Not there are worse things me. in the world. Not good for me. All right, we're down to two tiles, two bids. I just did that, so I think it's you. No, you did that. Yeah. Okay. Then, um... I intentionally chose those on purpose. No, I'm like, there's got to be a green one in there. Uh, no. Not quite. Great. You. I don't know how to do that. Trading red for red. Yep. And that just killed my red. So that really, really, really stinks. Really stinks. This is one, one way. That's one spot. I finished my board, so hopefully that's something to be proud about. Did you finish now? Well, yeah, because I took that and I can't play. I get a one by one. Yes, that is correct. That's what happened. And that's seven points. Third, that takes it to thirty. And that's what I like to see. Oh, blue is five, red is four, green is three, yellow is two. And I only had a two left, by the way. Yeah. How many blues did you have on your board? A billion. I hope. I hope. I hope. I have 14 left over. If it comes to a tie. Yeah, so I had a two left over. So there's that. That is a tie. That is the first tiebreaker, I think. So I will need your score thing. I have in blues. I have five blues for 25. Make sure there are no faux pas. I don't have any. I don't have any. All right. I got 25 in blue. You've got two blues for 10. Um, 
Red fours. Also five. Five times four is 20. Five times four is 20. I'm going to double check my... Yeah, yeah, I have five reds. Green threes. 18 for you. Back two up 20 for you. I think I've got five. Three, four, five. Uh, five times three is 15, 50, 60. Uh, and yellows are worth two, two, four. I was super even. Five times two is 10. Four times two is eight. Back to about 10. Um, the next thing, if you could click over to the scoring on the rules, I want to make sure I don't miss any of them. So, oh, that's why I've got more than you on some. It's because you have a assistant holding one and one off the board. Decor bonus, your little bitty sh baby shields. Twenty-two. Thirteen for me. Ten, twenty-one, two. Twenty-two in little baby shields. You did really well on that. That's super good. Um, eye line bonus for blue. If it's between the two things, and I have two of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that. Full gallery, five points. Exposed corners, tie, excess paintings. Mm -hmm. Yep. There, there. Two. Oh. There's your downfall. There was a tie until the excess <laughs> paintings. Things I couldn't take. That it was the was terrible. That was the point. So there is strategy with the drafting, with the choosing what to draft. Um, that was super close. I thought you had me. Well, I made the your... mistake of taking this one. Then it mm -hmm. locked me out of being able to actually place this one. I or I should have moved this over so I could at least place this because I had it. I took yeah, the one but then I you could play it. Well, no, but like back when I was no. like hadn't covered in this, but I took this when I could play it. Therefore, mm -hmm. I couldn't exchange it at the time. Oh yeah. Well, um, and then I worked it my way in that but i was like dying for this umbrella <laughs> painting to get the four oh wow matchy matchies and you did did you get it or no yeah i mean it was it was so you got a four a four different things yeah oh man i thought that's was, how you get the 22 to corbo the problem is i needed to go lower than you in the last round to choose which one <laughs> got to advance but you put blue up higher and green obviously i red pushed was, blue Red would have been better for me, but you had five as well. I I, I don't know. It's at just... the end, though, I had five of every... It was one, two, three, four, five blue. One, two, three, four, five yellow. One, two, three, four, five red. It was tough. It was one, tough. One, two, three. I literally um, had five of each. Uh, I was five and five and five and five. Yeah. So it didn't... My This didn't matter for me. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love this game. It's really solid. I really like this game. And you know what? I bet it's it's pretty good with more people too. Oh, I'm sure it is. Because uh, then you're actually have to like, bids really matter. It really matters, especially if you see a tile you want. And then when do you use the high tiles yeah. and like it does it really it's like does it? So the, the times that I spend my twenties and nineteens and eighteens. Yeah. It's when I have one that's like fantastic and two of them that would destroy me. So, I, I, this might be like one of the best games of the year so far for me. Like, this is totally Seriously. right up my alley. It has mechanics I like, like bidding for tiles um, and then trying to puzzle in uh, the frames not and then not lining up the colors. And this just is like. Well, with the faux pas thing, it's oh, sort of like fit to print where oh, you don't want two of the same article next to each other. Right. Um, this is not real time, so that's... It's not real time, so it's not like that at all, but it is on the placement aspect. Mm -hmm. You really want to make sure, can I put these things 
on this paper or your wall in this case. Right. Um. Yeah. It's so th- I gotta say, seems like a you know a tile placement that you might have seen before. You know, but when you're playing it, it feels different mm-hmm. and it feels really good. Like I, I, I don't know. This gives me a good feeling, and I love the look. Everything about this game. I mean, you, you, you feel a, a serious a, a feeling of accomplishment. Yeah. When you get everything. Which is good. Yeah. Like last game, did. uh, when I had like one little space left over, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't get one more little <laughs> trinket from the shelf. <laughs> Not having that little thing. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you didn't actually finish your board this time. That saved me like catching up wise. But I don't know. This game. I, I'm very excited. I think a lot of people are going to love this. I think so, too. Um, and the, the for month, me, this is really good. I got to say, the month started out super weak for me anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe not as much for you, but for me, I'm like, I mean, there was a time there we were playing just uh, mediocre game after mediocre game after burn this game after mediocre game. <laughs> the last couple of days have been no, it's been really, good, really, really good. Solid. Yeah, so this it's, this past week it's has been, turn out to be a yeah good two game. weeks ago terrible. Last week super good, and it has included Art Society and the game we just played. Come sail away. Yeah, really solid titles. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, really pleased. If you with come this. back Sunday on Twitch, we're gonna have our top ten of the month. Oh, it's that time already. I know. I know. Whoa. So we have to start planning on our arrangement of these games that we love. And I'm, I am almost certain that this will be at or near the top because spoilers. I super <laughs> love this game. But you you knew that. I just told you in words because this is my type of game. That's right. A hundred percent keeper for me. Uh I, I'm very excited. So Art Society from Mighty Boards, uh, highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. And if you want to see where Art Society places on uh, mine and Steph's top 10, be sure to join us on Twitch on Wednesdays and Sundays at 5 p.m. Central, where we will stream three games or more every single stream. So, hey, come listen to our top 10 and join us on the stream where we will play... All the the games. games. And uh, Dan's asking in the chat, will I like it? Uh, Yeah. You'll like it. Hundo P. Yeah. Everybody should. I'll just say, it's fine. You'll say, it's good. (laughs) Which is is great for you. In Dan speak, that's great. Yes. (laughs) So, uh, for those on Twitch, we will be right back. 